to do that. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Hallelujah. And it's good sometimes to reminisce. Hallelujah. Because sometimes you get cold after a while. Hallelujah. Sometimes we get so caught up in the program and in the system and the flow that we forget who we are and where God brought us from. Hallelujah. Sometimes we get too sophisticated. And remember that you were you, you, you used to be nobody. Hallelujah. Some of us came out of the ghetto. Some of us were poor, didn't even have a suit. And now we have three, four suits. We think we are that. Hallelujah. God was the one that brought you. If it had not been, I am Oshanda. The other day I was looking and I said, I start to examine my life and I start to look at my father's life. I said, my God, I'm rich. Yes. Compared to what my father had, I'm rich. Yes. My God, he didn't have that much. Yes. Eight of us, but he didn't have that much. And when I look and see the bed that I'm sleeping in, yes. and I look at the bed that he was sleeping in, yes. when I look at the house that I'm in now, yes. and I look at where he was, I said, I, I thank God. And sometimes we complain. And we murmur and complain. And where God brought you from, man. Oh, God, we're supposed to be praising God. When I think and when I look and see where he brought me from. Hallelujah. I know where he brought me from. I know what the Lord has done for me. If he had not been. The Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think God is vexed with us sometimes. Hallelujah. You didn't have a hat to wear. You didn't have a panty to wear one time. Someone said to borrow one. But now you have glass in full. Oh, God from heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are a grateful man. My God from heaven, that's what the Lord take me back. I am a son. Take me back. And let me remember that I didn't have nothing with me. Some of us were homeless. Blessed Jesus. But now you have clothes. Now you think you have something. And you sit down and don't remember. Where he brought you from. Some of us were molested. Some of us were abused. Some of us were beaten. But God. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. But God. That was rich in mercy. Woo. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Some of us were dirty and messed up. Come out of some bad places. Some of us come out of some homes that no salvation couldn't reach near. When I look, nine of us. And when God stepped past the first one, stepped past the second one, third, fourth, and he came to the fifth and said, You. And when he said you, I said, no, not me. Because I don't think I deserve him. I was considered a black sheep. I was considered the one that was dumped. I was considered the one that would never make it. I was considered a rebellious one. But he stopped at me. You see, God's not looking for somebody who thinks they're nice already. God wants to know when he comes to and he fix you. Yes. You have to give him praise. Yes. Because if it has not been. Oh. And you think you something now because you have something. Oh God, all God has to do is draw it back. I take it back. Oh God, man. Some of us are here. This is prior. And breakfast. Yes. Some of us are here because some prior was made. Yes. Oh, come on, breakfast. You didn't pray, but somebody was praying for you. You didn't, well, you wouldn't even affect one prayer, but somebody. 
My God from heaven, somebody, somebody, somebody mother was praying. Somebody father was praying. I said, God, see him, that little boy. See him, that little girl. I remember when I just came in this country. I came here about 12 years old. And when I got here, I got into the wrong group. I started again. We're in again. And we decide that we're going to sell crack. And we buy the crack and cut it up. Yes, sir. And we decide, but my mother was praying. Oh, God, she was praying. She was praying. And I remember that night we sat on the stoop. That Friday night. Oh, God, from the four of us. And we bought the crack this Saturday. And we buy the big ball like this and we start cut it up. And we start putting them in the vial. I'm telling you, somebody was praying. Come on. And I said, Lord, take me back. And we start cutting up the crack. This was when crack was high. We said we we're going to get rich. And I start cutting up the crack. And we put them in the vial. And we set it up. We count how much money we're making because we know we can make that in one night. That was the Friday night we planned. Saturday we buy it, cut it up. The Sunday... I said, I'm not going to church. My mother called me. Boy, you better get up out of your bed and go to church. Yes. 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 Mommy, my head I hurt me. My back I hurt me. My foot I hurt me. She said, let me come home. You're going to feel to really get hurt. Yes. 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 But on top of that, she was praying. Yes. Because she said, I'm not home. My mom used to do sleeping jobs. She said, I'm not home and that boy is there by himself. God, be with him. And she continued praying. She continued praying. The Saturday we cut it up and we set it out. The Sunday morning I had to go to church. Oh God, man. When I went to church and the preacher preached, I didn't want to hear nothing said. My thing was I'm gonna make some money. That was all on your mind. All money was on my mind. I had another missionary and missionary Dawkins was praying for me. Oh God, man. Somebody pray for me. They had me on their mind. They took the time. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Praying is powerful. It's powerful. It's more powerful than praise. The son that the preacher prayed, I didn't want to hear one thing the preacher said. When altar call, Mr. Dawkins will always come down and grab you. Yes. Carry you to the altar. Yes. I was at the altar and all I heard the preacher said, who wants to get saved? My God. I said, not me. You know when Paul said, I'm a prisoner? Yes. When God arrests you, he stick you up. Put handcuffs on you. Shut you up. Lock you up. Good God, for You see, some of you see him easy. My God, man. Some of you come to church easy. Some of us see you born into this. But I'm talking about them that came out on the wrong side. And when my hand was up, I said, hand come down, hand can't move. And when God, when we went down to the baptism pool, see, Minister Miller, they, me and him were baptized the same day. You know I'm not lying. And we went down into the baptism room, and we were deciding who's going first. I said, you go first, because I'm running out of here. And all I found myself getting dressed. My God. And while I'm getting dressed, I'm looking for my escape route. Yes, sir. And I couldn't move. Exit close. Couldn't move. Yes, I have a shanda. And when he came back down, all I had to do was to get baptized. Yes. When I got home, my boys they called my gang, called me and said, "We're ready." I said, "Look, and I forgot about myself, you know." I said, "Not me." My God, it's done. They said, "Boy, you don't know what you're missing." Look what we're going to get. A month later, he came back in a brand new car. Oh, God. Two wow. girls in the front seat. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. You're talking to me now. The devil come to test you to bring you back. And when he came out smoking his cigarette, and he said, boy, I said, good, go on. The other one bought bike and bought a house and everything. 
He bought a house and he was sitting on his stoop one day. And somebody came up to him and said, who name is Wayne? He said to me, boom, boom, boom. That's the first one then. I'm telling you, when God saved you, you know you're saved. You know you're saved. I don't need to ask nobody if I know I'm saved. I know. Killing me in that house went by on his stoop right in front of him, son. The other one bought a ninja bike riding on Utica. Dollar van lick him. Didn't even lick him off the bike. The bike exploded with him sitting on it. Burned to death. Look what the Lord did when he washed me. When he washed me. When he washed me. So when you see somebody praising God, you don't know their story. Let him praise God. You don't know my story. God. Because of his mercy. Because of his mercy. And I see everything that they ran after. God provided for me one by one by one by one. They that wait on the Lord. I know where he brought me from. I remember when I, when I just got saved and I was walking from Clark's from Crown Street to Clarkson every night go to church. Constantly. Yes, sir. And I didn't know that this little old lady was looking through her window praying for me. My God. And she looked through her window. Lord, bless that little boy. Yes. Bless that little boy. Yes. Not knowing somebody else was praying. Yes. Oh, God from heaven. Yes. And you know when I knew? Jesus. When I married our granddaughter. Yes. You don't know who you're praying for. The person might just be a ha ha ha. I know that this little old lady crack her wind every morning, every evening, and see this little boy going to Bible class, going to prayer meeting, going to your people service, going to night service. Every night that no miss me. Yes, sir. And she was there praying for him. God bless that little boy. You know when I know when I married her, she making the the, 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 the speech. She said, This little boy here. I was praying for him every night. Not knowing that he's going to come marry my granddaughter. I'm telling you. There's, prayer is powerful. And that's the one thing the devil don't want you to do. The devil don't mind you praising. He don't mind you put on your dust. He don't mind it. But when the saints go on their knees. I am a son. Because that's one fear in them. That's one fear you're going in. Yes. Oh God, and you start to fight demons yes. when you go on your knees. Yes. You see, prayer is not physical. Yes. It's yes. spiritual. Yes. Because you move out of one realm. Yes. And you enter the spiritual realm. Yes. Why do you think when you go out to pray, you are asleep? Yes. Josie, come on you. The spirit of Josie just come over you. Yes. But when you press, yes. when you press through, yes. I go Shanda. Yes. And you go into the spiritual realm. Yes. I go Shanda. Yes. And you start fight demons. Yes. You start break principalities yes. and powers. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And stuff start to break. Yes. My God from heaven. We need to get in the spirit. Yes. Yes. When we start warring the spirit. Yes. Oh God from heaven. You think you're just gonna get healing like that? Healing don't come true, just praising. No, But when you get on your knee and you put with the food, the Bible said Jacob was in trouble. Jacob said, I can't face my brother like this. If I face like this, I'm a dead man. Alright, sir. He said, I gotta do some stuff. Yeah, Let me send him some gifts. Except that we cool him down. Yes. Man, don't want no gift. You want your life. Yes. Oh, God. oh, God from heaven. Yes. Some of us, the devil is after your life. Yes. And look here where you did. Look here where you do. He's still not budging. The man's have to leave everybody. 
Sometimes we need to separate ourselves from some stuff. Sometimes you need to say, job, give me a week. We take our vacation to go at resorts and go on a beach and all of those things. No man, that's for the world. When sometimes you need to take off some time and shut away from everybody and go to some warfare and fight in the spirit realm. We're too much in the flesh, man. The devil wants to shut down prime meeting. When two people only come and prime meeting and say, okay, it's not working, shut it down. No, we need to pray. Pray now. Just shut it down. Pray. Oh, God from heaven. Whenever the devil shut down your prime meeting, look on your church ship. He's not going to shut down praise and worship. No. No. That's the flesh. Yes. So, yes. Part of the exercise, part of the we come exercise. and we want to jump. Yes. Yes. And, and, and preachers know how to stimulate you know, and activate yes. your flesh and make you think you're under the yes. anointing, yes. but you're just emotional. That's why not everything me jump around after yes. Yes. I was feeling the Holy Ghost. Yes. I was feeling the this was, I feel God yes. stretching out in me. Yes. I clean up my house yes. and I kick the devil. I feel God. So, I'm learning how to go into the spirit realm. And the Bible said, deep call it unto deep. So you got to be able to go out there. And you go out there through prayer and fasting. I remember one time I was going through a situation. And I, I had a vision that I was leaving church, Bible class. And when I was leaving church, when I looked behind me, the amount of pit bulls I saw. Maybe. They were running me down, running me down. Yeah. And I, I think I was faster than bulls. Yeah. I ran so fast in, this, in, the, in the vision and I, I run home. And I escaped them. Yeah. Couple nights after that, I had about the same vision. Yeah. But this time, the dogs were being led by uh, a German shepherd. Yeah. What's a German shepherd leading pit bulls? Yeah. Yeah. Oh God. And I was in this green plane and I saw this two dog just coming down running. And when they more closer they get to me, they got bigger. Closer they got bigger. And I said, What is this? And as I'm about to start to run, I said, Man, pull up in the my open back truck. And he said, Jump in. And so I'm running. I'm in the truck back. I look at these dogs and I start kicking them. Yes, sir. Because I know God they're with me, you know, so I kick him. And the dog is a technically cannot move in. Couple nights after that, I had the vision again. I'm running this time. Still They're still coming. And the man, as I was about to go in my house, my key couldn't come out fast enough. And I was running past the driveway, and I hear the, the, the man stop in the driveway and say, How long are you going to keep running from these dogs? He says, Stand and kill all. This is sometimes you have some things in our life. Yeah. That we don't want to kill. Yeah. We're preserving them. We're yeah. keeping them. There's some clothes you attach on to. There's somebody you attach to. And you don't want to get rid of God to kill them all. And when I stopped, I felt like I was like David, man. I felt strong. And the dogs, they said, I got you know, as soon as they start to jump. As they jump, I grab them. Tear the head off. And they come Tear the head off. I, I killed like about 300 dogs that night. Oh, and when the last one that was left, the German shepherd, yeah. he stopped and he's looking at me. And he's looking at me. And he started wiggling teal. Like, don't kill me. You know, you know a dog gets sweet on him. And he wrap around me and he go between my leg. Yes. And, 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 and the, the angel stepped back out and he said, didn't I tell you to kill all? Brethren, there's so much things coming in my life to kill me. But you cannot fight physical. You've got to get into the spirit. You war not against flesh and blood. But against principalities. In low places. High places. So I grabbed one of the other dog. Hey, 
tear the skin off of the, the head. Mm. My God, man, I felt strong in the dream. Yes. I grab it and I tear the skin off. Yes. And I had the skull in my hand. And I beat that dog. Yes. I beat him. I beat him. Yes. And the dog wasn't there. Yes. The angel had to step out of the driveway and hold the dog. Mm. I said, kill him now. Oh, and I held it up by the my head. head. My head and throw the head off with the spine and everything. So no, man, you got to get radical. We are not fighting no, no rookie. We are fighting a veteran over 2,000 years of experience. And some of us be bragging to me in the church 60 years now. 60 years now, none of it. I wish somebody just get in the spirit and realize how much demons are sent to kill you. You think you're going through all of this because uh, it's normal. It's not normal. Sickness you have and can't get better. Pray. Get in the spirit realm. Look, before anything happening in the physical, Yes, it happened first in the spirit. Amen. So why are we fight the physical first? I need to get to the source of it. And when I kill it in the source, the physical will get better. Oh God from heaven. I wish somebody could stand with me now and get in the spirit. We're here to pray and to fight demons and to war. We're here to war. We're here to war. The Bible said that David went back to get the ark. Yes. 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 But you know what's the problem? We're getting it back how we want to get it. Yes. Yes. It doesn't work your way. Show no. your way out the door. Yes. And because he didn't know how to get it the right way, yes. who's that guy? Yes. That's right. That's right. He's praising God and worshiping, but death was there. Yes. yes. It was out of order. An innocent man died. Yes. Yes. People are dying because we're out of order. Yes. People are not getting deliverance because we're out of order. Yes. I had a vision one time. I was right upstairs in the parking lot Friday night for, for young people's service. And I came early for some reason. I was out in the parking lot. And I heard the voice spoke out of heaven. My church is out of order. I said, God, what is this that you're saying? True. Next two days after that, I had a vision. I'm telling you, when God saves you, you know you're saved. Amen, amen. I had a vision. I was walking into church, and I hear, I hear the worship going on. And I said, my God, that's so good. Yes. And, I, and, I, and I was dancing, going to the door. And when I look in, inside a service, and so I heard the voice spoke out of heaven and said, this is not my church. I said, God, what do you mean by this is not your church? And by he said that, a page flipped. And I saw a different church. Yes. And they weren't shouting, they weren't running like crazy. They were worshiping like angels. Like what the Bible said, the angels, they cried glory. The place was smoked. The people dressed differently. And I heard the voice spoke back again and said, No, this is my church. So the Bible said, It's my people which are called by my name. Will humble themselves and pray. Seek my face. And the hardest part is to turn. Not just turn. Turn from your wicked ways. Then, then we have some wicked ways. You know, you know, I know. I know my wicked ways. And you know your wicked ways. Because you must repent of it. When you pray, don't just pray. Pray and turn. So the Bible said David went back to get the ark. Yes, he did. Got it his way because he didn't know how. For three months. And the Bible said after he left to that Obedidam house, he three went months. and searched. Yes. Oh God, the, the Lord gave me this bishop. And the Bible said he went and searched the scrolls for three months. And when he found the right order, how to get back, he tell the priest then, sanctify yourself. 
I know the right way now. I know how to get God back. Sanctify yourself. You must be sanctified. You must be holy. Be holy for I am God. Is holy. How can you feel the anointing when you're shocking? How can you feel the anointing when you, when you have a boyfriend and a girlfriend? How can you feel God when you're stealing and lying? Backbiting. How mad is in your heart? Pain, be strife. All of those bad things in your heart. Oh God, we need to cry. We need to cry. This is what prayer is all about, to cry out to God. And say, God, show me my way. Show me my faults. So I can fix it. And those that you know how to fix, fix it. Fix it. God, now I'm going to fix everything. You know it. And the ones that you know say, God, there are some things I don't even know. Show me them so we can fix them. And the Bible said that David went back with his priest. Oh, yes. Yes, God. And came back as a line of priests. Yes. 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 Look, man. All we did is get blessed oh, with something that don't belong to him. Oh, God. Oh, God. You can imagine. All we did is dog a prosper. Yes. In cat a prosper. In fish a prosper. In house. Yes. And it's not his. Oh, yes. It's mine. Yes. The world of prosper, we are suffering. Because what we are doing, we are taking in the world. The world that's taking us. We are taking in the world. But until we start to open the door and kick out the world. And get a broom and sweep it out. And clean up ourselves. Oh God, man, I wish somebody would just... Oh God, I wish somebody... I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish... I wish somebody would say, God, I'm coming back for you the right way. I'm going to bring you back the right way. Can somebody just pray right now? Let's say, Lord, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. It's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. It's me, it's me, it's me. It's not my brother. I'm not pointing no finger at nobody. I'm the church. I am the church. Oh, God, and you said that you will dwell in temples that made with hand. I am the ark. I am. And if you dwell in there, I must carry you the right way. If my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and seek and pray and turn from their wicked ways. Hear what he said. Then I, then, then I. Only after you do all of this. You can't just pray and get it. No. There's an order. You can't just seek and pray. No, it's not going to come. But when you pray, seek and turn. He said, then I will hear from heaven. And I will forgive their sins. And heal their land. Oh God. Do you think we need healing? Yes. Oh, come on. Only say a few hands. I know I need healing. Our churches need healing. Oh God, we need to be healed. We want to see people come in and get baptized. I remember when people used to get baptized by like five, ten. Come on. And sometimes people come and receive Holy Ghost. One year, one year, one year. As one gets it, the other one gets it. Now you have to be struggling. Begging and pleading. Take the back. Oh God, I wish somebody just gets in the spirit realm. Oh God, I start to pray. I start to kill some demons that sitting around in here. And run them out. Akko Shanda, run them out. Run them out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take your hands off of the church. Take your hands off the people. Take your hands off the building. Akko Shanda, this place is anointed for God. Hallelujah. How can the devil walk in your church and sit on comfortable? Wake up the deserters. Wake up the mothers. Wake back up the fathers that have the spiritual eyes to see these demons. I wish four or five people just get in the spirit and start to war right now. And start to war. And walk 
walk up and down. I remember when somebody started to walk, they will come out and start being rushed. They start cut. They start going to bench, through, bench, through, bench. Because there's something that don't smell right in here. I remember those days. You could have come in here. And Saturday you were shocking up. And come in here Sunday and up on the choir. No, Holy Ghost come. Glory! I smell you out. I try you down. I bring you out. Take me back. Take me back. Take me back. You remember your gift. You remember the anointing that was upon your life. You remember the calling that God placed upon you. Uncle Shanda. Lord, wake it back up. Wake it up. Play back up the church, Lord. That we can go back at the place. And bring God back the way that he should. God bless you in Jesus' name. Father in the name of Jesus. Yes, seven oh God and Lion. You as he continues to minister for you to your glory in the name of Jesus, reviving, realizing right now in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory of God. For the next 10 minutes or so, the altar is open. The altar is open. The altar is open for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. The altar is open for 10 minutes. Lord, come on. In the name of Jesus, take me back. Take me back. Take me back. Take me back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Oh, God. The altar is open for the next 10 minutes. Hallelujah! Come on, come on, come on! Run, 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 run! When the water is trouble, step in, step in! When the water is trouble, step in, step in, step in! Come on, hold the river, follow them! Pray for somebody! Come on, somebody pray for me! Oh, oh, oh! Hallelujah! Come on, come on, run! Hallelujah, come on, come on, run! Run, the altar is open for 10 minutes! In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, somebody pray for you! Come on, pray for somebody, anointed hands! Bring your anointed hands and touch somebody! Touch somebody!